importance for the University of California and some of the publics. And that is for us, a gap year means you've graduated from high school and you're taking time off during the academic year. And that means you're not going to college. You're not taking curriculum either through an accredited college or university during the academic year, fall, winter, and spring quarters. Now, if I graduate, I spend the summer and I take a college class and then I'm like, all right, I'm going to go and travel the world. That's fine because it wasn't the academic year. When it comes to the admissions review process, you're going to apply to the UC system the year prior to enrollment, just like everybody else. You're going to fill out your application and you will have senior year grades. So yes, they will be visible to the admissions officer on a UC campus. And yes, they can be looked at in the holistic review, but no, senior year grades don't get added to your GPA because the University of California only uses sophomore and junior year for that GPA calculation so that there is equity across all applicants, those who are on gap year and those who are off gap year. So there are rules and we love them. I, I agree with Phil. It what used to be the rarest thing, and now it's a conversation at almost every fair. I'm taking a gap year. I'm traveling. Specifically right now with students who in the pandemic weren't really able to explore, they're thinking, I want to take time off. And I'm like, more power to you. Write home to your parents. If you travel, make sure that you take some, you know, some pictures and then journal your experiences because I will be asking you, how did you spend your time in your gap year or years, plural? And did you take college classes during the academic year? Because I'm nosy. I asked that. Thank you. Love Love, love, and love. This is really, really informative. So thank you. Just final comments. Luke or Phil, do you have any final comments? You know, well, we always do. Go for it. Come I'll on, let you I'll have stop. the last word, Kruka. So I'll go. Um, well, first off, I think you should realize how incredibly lucky you are to have folks like Ashley and Stephanie on your side. Um, you know, it's not an accident that you've been having college representatives during our busiest reading season coming to these events. <laughs> right? It's because SI is a well-known place. It's a place that you have strong advocacy for. And t- my advice would be take advantage of those opportunities intentionally, right? Don't be the student that misses a meeting. Don't be that student that's like me, a procrastinator, and does their slides just before this meeting rather than like Kuka yesterday, right? Um, Truly, like I said, in terms of determining fit, you need to do the work in order to make this process work for you. And then you as a parent need to allow your student to do that work, right? Your student needs to do that work, right? (laughs) Um, And sometimes that's hard, right? Because maybe they don't do it, but you have to let them, if they don't succeed, fail, right? Um, And learn those lessons. And I can say that if you do that, you're going to end, your students are going to end up in a phenomenal place because you have the resources to help you get there. All right piece of advice or two. One, the admissions process is going to be changing from this month to next month to next year and on. So get your information from the source. Your college counselors are touching base with colleges and universities. You can too. You can call or email us. I'd prefer you to get your information and the changes that are happening from the admissions office versus your neighbor's best friend who got into UCLA last year. So she knows everything. No, honey, it's going to change next year. Trust me, right? The whole testing thing changed on a monthly basis for the class of 2021. Here's the other thing to make note of. We ask you to fill out our inquiry cards and you can do so as early as freshman year in high school. We ask you to do this not because we need to spam you with information, but when information is relevant and we want to share it with you, that's the way we do it. And so it you can do it as early as tonight. You can do it next year when you have a better list. There's no harm in doing that. And if you get done with us, you're like, mm, Santa Barbara, no, thank you. Unsubscribe and move on. But at least you now have the facts from the university. And last but not least, don't do it alone. Do not think, oh, well, let me just Google that. And oh, I think I understood what that meant. Ask us. We get paid lots of money, right? Phil, millions to do this work because, well, actually you don't, but we do it because we love it. We want to work with your families. We want to work with your students. We don't mind answering the same question over and over and over again. We are here to help you. So let us do that. Let your counselors help you and then listen to their sound advice. They don't talk just to hear themselves talk, or maybe you do because I do. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. In any case, listen to them and note that, hey, you can always confirm with us in the, in the admissions offices. 
You know, Miss Wong said this. Is that true? I'm going to go, yes. Why are you not listening to her? I might say it nicer if you call or email me, but I'm going to say yes. So please don't hesitate and don't do it alone. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Stephanie, do you want to, do you have any words before we, we end this? Yes. Yeah, so I was just thanking everybody on the chat who was like, thank you. Um, um, I love this one parent who said, I'm leaving with a feeling of peace or like calm. So thank you so much to Kuka and Phil who have just kind of gave us like an overarch- overarching like way you review, you see students. Um, it's by context. So thank you. Thank you so much. And some more parents, you know, you can reach out to your child's soft, um, college counselor by email. Um, so we are here for you. We are here to answer your questions. We want your child to have a successful college application process. We want them to feel good and to reach their goals, um, essentially. So we are here for you. And thank you for attending. Thank you for your time. Thank you again, Kuka and Phil. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Kuka and Phil. You guys were so so awesome. Amazing. So informative. Energy is amazing. I'm so happy I was a part of this parent night. Again, thank you so much.